You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports 2. We're going to talk about NFL free agency. It's off with a bang. The Browns are releasing Jarvis Landry. Just getting that out of the way. Not even really doing a story on that. We're here to really talk about two quarterbacks. Mitch Trubisky is the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's right, the quarterback I have in the much too early non-finalized list of the Rhodes Rans QBs for 2022. I have Mitch Trubisky as a projected starter, and he is in Tier 5 at number 21. Yeah, and you might be like, who the hell's behind Mitch Trubisky? Well, and some of this is just a flat product of the fact that some of these guys ain't got enough actual playing time yet. But I'm sorry, Bear fans. Justin Fields is behind <laughs> Mitch Trubisky right now. Case Keenum, Zach Wilson, Jalen Hurts, Jared Goff, Daniel Jones, Sam Darnold, just to name a few. And unfortunately for you, two of fans, yeah, I've got two of I got two of behind Mitch Trubisky too. The fact is, Mitch Trubisky flashed a lot with the Chicago Bears. But Matt Nagy did him no favors, and I think the Bills and Brian Dayball got him straightened out. He's a little more mature, and I think he'll go out and win some games for the Steelers next year. Let's get to this. He agrees to a two-year deal, and I'm letting you know right now, we're going to talk about it. This greatly affects one Jimmy Garoppolo. The Steelers may have found Ben Roethlisberger's successor, Mike Garofolo of NFL Media reports the Steelers have reached an agreement with Mitch Trubisky. It's a two-year deal for Trubisky. No financial terms disclosed. Roethlisberger announced his retirement after the Steelers lost to the Chiefs in the playoffs. So Trubisky joins the quarterback death chart that also includes straight trash homie Mason Rudolph and restricted free agent Super straight trash homie, Dwayne Haskins. General Manager Kevin Colbert said in February that Rudolph would be a starter if the season were starting, but Trubisky's arrival represents a big change. At the very least, they'll compete for the starting job. It's unlikely Steelers would have made a multi-year commitment to him if they felt it was unlikely that he was an upgrade on what they've seen from Rudolph the last few years. And make no mistake, Mitchell Trubisky is most definitely an upgrade to Duck Hodges, Dwayne Haskins, Sam Darnold. <laughs> Sorry, whatever we saw at Ben Roethlisberger last year. And of course, Mason Rudolph. I mean, ugh, at this point, Landry Jones, where is he at? He's better than Landry Jones. Uh, so look, I'm fired up for Mitch Trubisky next year, actually. Love this move. Love this move because it's low risk for the Steelers. You know they're going to bring a running game. You know they're going to bring defense. I'm calling it now. Steelers go 10-7 and seven next year with Mitch Trubisky. I have a feeling before the book is fully written on Mitch Trubisky, Bears fans may be like, are you kidding me? It was the coach the whole time. Look, it is what it is. Trubisky's got an arm. He's damn sure mobile. We're going to see him get coached up. He got coached up with Buffalo. Smart move by him going there. Maybe they'll incorporate a little of that Josh Allen play style and just fully embrace that and go win some games. Now, Jimmy Garoppolo, the Colts and the Steelers were the two biggest remaining destinations for the 49ers starting quarterback who was Supposed to be traded, absolutely. He was sort of he was sort of the big big mystery for the Steelers and the Colts. Now only the Colts are left on the table. Got to remember Tom Brady. I called it in the podcast. I said Tom Brady's coming back, and I also said if he comes back, he's number one on the list. I mean, let's let's be honest. Let's get it out of the way. But me and John, we never backed off. We said Tom Brady was coming back. 
from the beginning, we said he was coming back, and he's back. He's playing for the Bucks, And I got to be honest with you, even with that roster they're going to roll out there that is salary cap ravaged a bit anyway, Bucks going to mess around, win 11 or 12 games next year. It just is what it is. Tom Brady's there. Mike Evans is there. I mean, I don't know what Gronk does. That's going to be interesting. Scotty Miller. They still got pieces, especially on offense. Okay. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know what's going to happen there because the Bucks were a possible destination. The Steelers were certainly a possible destination. Commanders have been turned off because they got Carson Wentz. Guys, it's the Colts or it's Jimmy Garoppolo as the starting quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. And this may be a blessing in disguise for 49ers fans. I keep telling you, be careful what you wish for. Trey Lance is not ready to take over this potential Super Bowl winning team. He's not ready yet. He's not. Maybe after another year on the bench, maybe. Although, that would give me some real cause for concern if after two years, he can't become the starter. It's the Colts, or it's probably stay put in 49ers land because they're not trading to the Seahawks. Maybe the Saints, maybe but Deshaun Watson is lurking around out there. Whoever wants to take a run at that. Eagles, telling you. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.